Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any fun videos. Comment all your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you guys are well and happy new years. Today we are going to be talking about Elise Parker, which is part two to my last Elise video because I didn't want the last video to get so long. So let's just dive in and address everything that has been going on. So on Instagram, Elise finally, quote unquote, came back. But the only reason why she is coming back to social media is because she needs money. You would think for the past couple of years that she would have learned and grown, but she hasn't. All she cares about and wants in life is money. She is self-centered. All she cares about is herself. All she wants in life is to play around and live this fruity, fake, delusional lifestyle and basically sell sex on social media. <laughs> which is part of the reason why she grew so fast. Since Elise is making her big, strong comeback, she made this one post, and it's just very, very pathetic in my eyes. If you guys follow her on Instagram, then you'll know what I'm talking about. In this one post, she is making herself look like a goddess, making herself look like she is in the Garden of Eden, that she is perfect. So she says in the caption, just reconnecting with my unique essence, reclaiming my power and activating my soul's divine gifts after being crippled by online hate, silencing my expression, my sense of self, and hiding my light for years. The only reason why Elise got so much backlash is the way that she handled herself. She would block people who weren't kissing her butt, she would block and delete comments who were giving her constructive criticism, who were questioning her morals and ethics and lifestyle choices. She hated everyone who was not defending her. And that's another reason why Elise got so much backlash. Yes, people grow and change, but Elise went a whole 360 on her diet, all in the name of money. What Elise should have done, in my opinion, when she stopped on a plant-based diet, was come out with a video explaining why she is quitting the plant-based lifestyle. And then the next video, she should have done the butcher box deal, sponsorship. So that way, it would give people time to unsubscribe and to really think about how they truly feel about Elise. It just proved that all she cares about is money and herself. And she made this next post, this next video, all about how everyone else is the bad guy. Everyone else is just out to get her and she is perfect. About five years ago, I transitioned my diet from vegan to carnivore in attempt to improve my health. And at the time, I was one of the world's leading vegan influencers. Needless to say, I lost about 100,000 subscribers overnight, but that was not even close to the worst of it. That's what the public saw, but what I experienced in the last few years took me to some of the darkest places of my entire life and any time that I would express myself and share a new video or post something I received mass amounts of online criticism and defamation of my character. So 
Elise keeps making excuse after excuse after excuse because she has an eating disorder, which is what led mainly to her getting so sick. But yet, she will blame everyone, including the mold in her house. She created these posts on her stories on Instagram, and the first post goes as followed. Despite the fact that I was clearly struggling, some people completely gaslight my experience, saying that I was just over-exaggerating. Other people have it worse, stop complaining, and mold illness doesn't really exist. Even though I had evidence of black mold in my home, blood tests showing mold in my body, and a ton of symptoms impacting my daily life, and articles stating that mold exposure can lead to brain damage and even death if not properly detoxed. Seeing people put so much time into disproving my experience really had me question if maybe I was just going crazy. All of Elise had to do was eat a proper, healthy, plant-based diet instead of restricting herself so much. She could have taken care of the mold herself, hired someone to clean it, and went on her way. Just like how Fully Raw Christina, when she moved to Hawaii, she found mold in her apartment, but she did not give up her ethics. She did not give up her morals. She cleaned it up and moved on. The next post goes as followed. For the next four years, I received a disgusting amount of online hate. I couldn't post a new video without getting immediately criticized. There are now 200 plus videos on the internet that people made in response to my diet change. They bashed my character and my livelihood. I stayed strong at first. I kept sharing. But deep down, this impacted me tremendously more than I'd like to admit. The next post goes as followed. I became confused. My self-worth went down. I eternalized the voices of my haters. Plus, this became my inner dialogue. I couldn't see myself clearly. Where did my light go? Where was my playful essence? Everything felt heavy. Now, the next post is truly sickening and disturbing. Disgusting. She is portraying herself as a goddess, as this perfect, pure, innocent human being, because she is now trying to spin everything to make herself look better. She is wearing this white tank top on the beach, reaching up to the sun, acting like Everyone else is the issue. That she is this perfect, strong, almighty God. And the post goes as followed. After tons of trauma therapy, somatic healing, and divine timing, I finally found the courage to crawl my way out of that hell realm and reconnect with my true self. At least this is your own fault. Your own downhill. You did this to yourself and sadly you will never change and grow. You are not a strong independent leader. You are sad and empty inside. And her trying to wear this white shirt, trying to make herself seem like this pure human, is just disgusting. And the next post goes as followed. Dear soul family, thank you to those of you who have been patiently awaiting my return. I'm genuinely in awe of your loyalty, your care, and your interest in my life story. What life story? She does these 30 day quote unquote challenges and spends them profit off of them and say they were life-changing experiences. Elise has no life experiences. She only focuses so much on money. And the next post goes as followed. Thank you, Earth Angels, for holding me close, seeing me clearly, and supporting me through this challenging chapter. Now, all of these people are also disgusting, fake human beings. So the first person actually everyone likes, it's Carly, who basically ran Raw Alignment. The next person, Rachel Bell. If you guys don't know who Rachel is, she is another scam artist. She is another one of those people who basically grew so fast on social media by AKA selling sex. 
Now what I mean by that is basically posting naked pictures to get attention to themselves and profit off of it. But tell you guys how to live your life by basically being naked. Now there's nothing wrong with loving your body, but I am so sick and tired of people trying to sell sex but then also tell you how to live your life in a better way. It's disgusting. A couple years ago, with my original YouTube channel, I exposed Rachel Bell and she attacked me, got my video taken down that I made about her. But you know what? That didn't stop me. I just re-uploaded it because she also wants to come off as this perfect little princess. Her friend groups, are just pure evil. They literally worship each other. They're like in this creepy cult. So Rachel commented on Elisa's comeback and it is just icky, icky, that. And the comment goes as followed, which in my opinion is very disgusting because she is basically trying to act like Elise is Jesus Christ. like. Elise bled for her followers. Elise shed her life to save others. It's disgusting. And the comment goes as followed. Very, very few people will understand what it takes to transmute what you have in your human lifetime. It's easy to judge what you've never experienced and peace to those who think it, it, it was just about losing followers. LOL. I saw the persecution and how you bled pure love. There's no human who deserves a righteous comeback chapter more than you, my dear. I respect and truly, truly, truly bow to the massive power within your heart to make this post and all to come. Welcome back to your fire, baby. It's getting hot in her. That is just cringy. That is just creepy at all sorts of levels. This is just another ass kisser who is worshiping Elise. Literally, that post, this comment says it all. Worship 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 how she was persecuted and bled pure love we all saw how elise handled herself and this comment is bullshit all right everyone well please comment all of your thoughts in the comments below let me know how you feel about this whole situation about elise making a comeback like i'm glad that elise is finally feeling like herself that she is quote unquote allowed to come back to the internet but to act like God, to act like Jesus Christ, to act like she is this pure, innocent human being is downright disgusting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what else you would like me to cover on this channel. And yes, I will be making more videos about Rachel Bell and Elise Parker in the future. Smash the like button and have a wonderful day. See ya.